Are you ready for some miracles in your life? I hope you are, because tonight is going to be a great night of really creating that space to come into the miracle zone. Welcome. I'm Love Coach Scott Thomas, and this is Saturday Night Alive for the Global Peace Tribe. That's you, each and every one of you, whether you're watching this live in our Zoom room, whether you're watching on Facebook, or I want to acknowledge all of you that watch the recording. Um, our statistics show about 25 to 30% of the people watch the replay. So whether you're live or recording, welcome. But I do want to ask that if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, come on into our Zoom room, um, because that's where we can chat more easily. We always have a really dynamic chat going on in the Zoom room, and it's easy. If you haven't already registered, just go to globalpeacetribe.com and register. It takes about a minute, and then boom, you're going to get the link and come on in, and that way you can be right here with us. Um, and of course, then we have your email address, only we keep it. Um, but we send out then notice letting you know about upcoming shows and how to watch the replay, how to watch the recording. So um, it's really a, a powerful global peace tribe that we are creating together. And if you're hearing my voice, if you're seeing me right now, you are an important part of this global peace tribe as we are coming together to create the new world, to create the new paradigm. It's hard times and a lot of people are going through hard stuff. And I am so grateful that we get to have Marcy and Lisa and Dr. Sue and all the people you're gonna to meet tonight, Marianne Williamson, who are gonna help us really drop into learning how to live in the miracle zone. And so um, tonight's show is sponsored by your Year of Miracles. You're going to learn all about that. Um, and it's, it's going to be just a great show. I'm very, very excited about it. So to tell you more about it, to meet who's going to be with us, I'm going to turn it over to my producing partner, Deborah Juicy. Thank you, Scott. And welcome, everyone, to our 87th show that we've produced every Saturday night since the lockdown, April 2020. And this is the first show of our season seven, A Glimpse of Heaven, of the last month, and we will continue through the end of the year. And again, thank you for all your donations that you give us when you sign up for the Zoom link and your donations to our donation portal, because that really helps us produce a quality show for you every single week. And a piece of the magic and success of Saturday Night Alive is the high-level collaboration that we've accomplished in the last year and a half during these very potent and extraordinary times. So many people now are collaborating together towards the same mission to support the healing and evolution of all that's happening in our world now. And tonight is going to be another amazing show as we are co-producing with Marcy Shymoff of Year of Miracles. So our theme tonight is living in the miracle zone. So isn't this an extremely important superpower to embody during these turbulent and challenging times? And it's a natural inclination to want and call for miracles to help heal and change our personal world and our global reality. Well, during the last year and a half on Saturday Night Alive, we have brought you high-level information that affirms that these are also very evolutionary times. And the superpower of creating miracles in your life and the world is more potent and attainable than ever before. And who better to lead the way than these amazing women we have on our show tonight, whose mission is to teach, inspire, and activate the power of miracles in your life. Their teachings allow you to receive that miracles can be a daily experience. And they will share with you that it's not only attainable, but it's really a goddess and God-given right to create daily miracles and live in the miracle zone. So each of our presenters tonight are going to share their experience of creating miracles and reveal how we can create the space in our lives to create miracles in our lives. And they're going to provide ongoing resources to make sure you can live in the miracle zone in 2022. So now I'm thrilled to introduce this incredible group of presenters and musicians now. 
We are going to be featuring tonight Marian Williamson, who is the best-selling author, political activist, and spiritual thought leader for over three decades. She has been a leader in spiritual and religiously progressive circles. She's the author of 14 books, and four of which have been on the New York Times bestseller list. She'll be with us on video and in heart with us tonight. And tonight, our co-host is Marcy Shymoff. She's a New York best-selling Times author, author of many books, including Happy for No Reason, and a world-renowned transformational teacher, an expert on happiness, success, and unconditional love. Welcome, Marcy. Thank you, Deborah. It's so fantastic to get to be with you and everybody here tonight. Wonderful. And we are going to have also Dr. Sue Mortar. She's an international speaker, doctor with 30 years of experience. Dr. Sue's visionary models and techniques have ignited an entirely new approach to accessing creative genius and living from personal freedom. And we're really happy to have Lisa Gar. She has found her own voice and become a voice of change in the world as a result of a healing of brain trauma. And she is the host and creator of The Aware Show, a transformational radio show about health, cutting edge science, personal growth, and spirituality since 1999. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you so much, Deborah and Scott and Marcy. I'm looking forward to tonight. And we're very happy to have Deva Pramal and Nietzsche. They are Grammy nominated artists that have spent the last 30 years sharing deeply meditative music and the healing power of Sanskrit mantras around the world. And we're also very happy to have Karen Drucker. She is a keynote speaker and women's retreat facilitator, but also she's an incredible musician who has recorded 20 CDs of her inspirational music. Welcome, Karen. Deborah, thank you, Scott. I'm so glad to be here tonight. And we're thrilled to have back on again the Brothers Corin, who are on a mission to hear the world song one big voice at a time. They have 20 years of experience of recording, teaching, and empowering others through transformational leadership. Welcome again, Brothers Corin. Thank you, Thank you, Deborah. Scott and Scott. Marcy so great and to be here with you, Marcy. And Lisa, Lisa, gorgeous miracle makers. Yeah, and we're we're thrilled well. to be here with all of you. Wonderful. Thank you. And so this is going to be a really special show tonight. So we're so glad you are with us. So right now, I want to introduce Marcy. As I've shared, she is well known for her New York Times bestselling books, Happy for No Reason, Love for No Reason, and six titles in the chicken soup of the women's soul, that all those have been sold more than 6 million copies. And she's also a featured teacher in The Secret, a narrator of the movie Happy. And she currently leads the global online program, Your Year of Miracles, um, which we're going to hear a lot about tonight, which can really allow you to go forward in 2022 and create that miraculous life. So thank you so much, Marcy, for helping us create this amazing show. And I'd love to turn it over to you to give your inspirational thoughts on creating miracles and introduce our first guest. Well, thank you first, Deborah and Scott. What you're doing is helping put us all in the miracle zone every Saturday night with Saturday Night Live. And um, throughout the show, I know what we'll do is we'll be hearing from different people about what the miracle zone is. And, um, and I'll be sharing about what the miracle zone is, but we can feel it right now. It's the energy of us all being together. And I've, I'm so delighted that um, some of my very favorite people on the planet who I know are all living in the miracle zone have said yes to being here tonight. So I think we're in for an experience of just experiencing the miracle zone. And, and we're starting off with the Brothers Corin. And the Brothers Corin are, I, I just, you know, Deborah's said a little bit about what they do they have they are they've been um part of the kin that was their their tour group it was called the kin and the brothers corn and they work their work grows and expands these days into helping people with their creative expression and leading people towards a more embodied experience in life they've earned a gold record they've performed on conan um, they've toured with Coldplay and Pink and Rod Stewart and Bon Jovi and now with us. And, um, and 
what I'm so excited about with the Brothers Corn is that a couple of weeks ago, um, I've I've loved these guys for for a, as long as I've known them, which is about I don't know three or four years. I'm actually working with them personally, as is my husband Sergio and some of my dearest friends, some of whom are like Broadway major major Broadway superstars um, that just adore these musical geniuses. And a couple of weeks ago, we were having a retreat for our inner circle of your year of miracles, and we invited them to come be part of it and present. And they were so brilliant. First of all, they they did some of their own singing, and then they collaborated with our entire group to come up with a song in 15 minutes. And the song is called Living in the Miracle Zone. And I couldn't believe that this happened in 15 minutes. I don't know how you guys did it but you guys are in the flow and i just love your energy and i love who you are in every way and what your hearts and souls are here doing on this planet to awaken all of our voices and to uh, allow us to really fully embody and and voice the energy of miracles so thank you guys for being here love you oh my gosh uh, How, what a, what an incredible honor to be introduced like that by you marcy um our pleasure it's all our pleasure and we had so much fun with the three of you at year of miracles only a few weeks ago and uh what a room to tap you know, uh. the energy at the end of uh that experience with that sort of tear of the of people that have done your program all year long it was just it was uh palpable, palpable. The, the room yeah. the hearts were on fire and so like marcy said this this song was its own little miracle it popped out and we're going to sing it for you and it's called Living in the Miracle Zone. <clears throat> yes. Aptly. And uh, literally the first, word, the, the first lyric is miracles growing on the ceiling. <laughs> and it, it just, that's what it felt like yeah. walking into this room. We felt like the luckiest uh, you know, musos on earth. So we, we want to ask you at home to sing with us, obviously on, on mute, mute, but yeah. um, sing to your cats and your, your, your uh, roommates at home. Um, but this one is called Living in the Miracle Zone. Here Sing along with us. Like Miracles growing on the ceiling Dropping into my being Falling into my dreaming Peace in my mind So thankful that we're home, knowing we're no longer alone. Hearts dancing wild and free, so happy to be me. Oh, living in the miracle zone.
<laughs> there it is. Yeehaw. Insatiable. <laughs> well, thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Wow, that was so awesome, you guys. If everybody would send their appreciation in the chat to these guys and tell them how great they are. Those words, I just want you to know, they were created by people just yelling out into the room various ideas, and they pulled that together in 15 minutes. There you go. Well, you know, when we open ourselves to the vortex, the space, the field, and we create a safe space where we can each trust each other to collectively collaborate towards something, you know, miracles occur and we just get out of the, we get out of the way and mm -hmm. we get in the way into in, creative harm's way. There you go, into creative mm -hmm. harm's way. And maybe, you know, from our perspective and what we get to coach and, and lead people into their voice and song and music as a medium, we've just sort of discovered that putting ourselves in creative harm's way is that zone, mm. is that flow state. And uh, it was such a pleasure to do it with Year of Miracles. And um, if it calls you to be more in your voice and using song as a medium, I know, Scott, thank you for putting in the chat. We have a free event coming up. I uh, would love to meet you and reach out to us at Brothers Corin. Also, Ditto. I just want to plant another seed uh, that we get into the future to do more with you, Marcy, with Lisa, with you, Sue. It's been such a, a pleasure. And again, thank you, Saturday Night Alive, for having us twice in, twice a, row. in a row. Lucky us. <laughs> hey, I just want to point out to everybody, because um, we want people to know about what you're offering. So first of all, their website is brotherscorin.com. It's spelled K-O-R-E-N. Definitely want to put your email address in and subscribe. And once you subscribe, tell us about your online course. I'm going to show the Q code in a moment, but tell us about what you guys are going to be doing. Well, actually, we get that our course in May comes next. But what we're doing in two weeks' time uh, is starting our second shift course, which is called "Liberate Your Sacred: The Sacred Power of Your Voice." So we'd love it if you if you have called to it to join us in two weeks, December fifteen, and uh, the the free event will lead you straight to our course. We're starting with shift. We love shift. We love everyone over at shift, and uh, there, it there it is. And so, Thank you, Scott. Uh, really, what we're going to be doing is taking you know, anyone from scared to excited and leading them back into a healthy uh, relationship with their voice and really unlocking not only how the voice is a sacred sonic healing tool, but also that the voice is really here for all of us, mm. all of us to reclaim and fall back in love with. And when we do, it actually shows up as vitality in every other part of our lives that everywhere our voice shows up when we wake up it's with us and if you've lived out you know if you've waited a long time to to really have a new relationship to sing even or to speak uh we we'd love to be your brothers in that new relationship 25 percent of us of the population are would you know more scared of singing and public speaking than you know, death itself. And so, you know, there's, there's certainly some, some room for, for growth here around the voice and we make a very safe and fun and, uh, you know, just vital space for, for you to step in two feet into what it feels like and sounds like to be you and alive. Yeah. All right. So everybody grab your cameras. We're going to be using Q codes tonight for a few different things. Grab your cameras and uh, your cell phone, put it on camera and go right towards that Q code and boom, what you'll see is, is open the uh, shift network and then you open it up and that takes you right to this place. There's an easy way that you can go on in and join. Um, so, guys, what a treat to have you two you weeks so in a row. Huh. And I will be contacting you because I'm definitely going to want you to be back on as much as possible. You oh, guys lucky us. Are just terrific. Absolutely. Lucky terrific. us. Thank you. Thank you love so you. much. Love Scott. you, Marcy. Love you. Love, love you guys. Love you. You're Thank amazing. You so much. Truly amazing. You are. You are. You are magic makers with music and the voice and mm -hmm. and life. Oh, thank you Such so a much. catchy tune, too. Yeah, Such yes. a what, what fun we had. What it's still singing. Had. I can't stop singing in my head now. Me neither. <laughs> Ilana put in the chat to us, I'll be singing that all night. There you go. It happens. <laughs> it definitely happens. We're going to have to record that one together. Oh, yeah. Okay. And nice to see you too, Sergio. Sergio. Yeah. <laughs> and John. And John, yes. Mwah. We'll be All here. Right. Is that a ghost? No, it was a Sergio sighting. <laughs> Marcy, what's up next? Uh, what is up next is more miracles and with the amazing Dr. Sue Mortar. And let's see, is Sue 
Can we bring her up onto the screen? Let's just see her on here if we can. So Dr. Sue is an international speaker. She is a doctor with 30 years experience and her visionary models and techniques have ignited an entirely new approach to accessing creative genius and living from personal freedom. She's the author of the brilliant book, The Energy Codes, a best-selling book. And Dr. Sue helps people really raise their cellular vibrational frequency. And I have been so honored. First of all, I've been honored to be uh, to have Sue as my dear friend for the last 22 years. And I've been honored for the last three or four years to be the co-teacher with Dr. Sue in your year of miracles. And I just want you all to know this woman is so the real deal. She is living this in every cell of her body. She's not speaking from concept or theory. She's had her own major awakening experiences. I, I actually was there when, when she had her first big awakening experience and witnessed that. And she lives this in every way, in every moment, in her breath, in her body, and in her, in her way that she deals with life. So Sue, I love you, and I am so honored and happy to get to be with you again here tonight. We were together earlier this morning, teaching, and here we are again tonight. So if you want to uh, share with us your wisdom about living in the miracle zone. And mm, thank you so much, Marcy. It is always such a joy to be with you and all the things that we conjure up around the world. And uh, thank you, Brothers Corin, for bringing your, your beautiful spirit to uh, kick this program off this evening. It is truly an example of what miracles are about. You know, what I want to, to share um, uh, in, in the short time that I have with you this evening is that miracles don't happen. Miracles are always existing. There is a realm, a reality in which what we would call the miraculous is occurring constantly. And it is important for us to realize that it is there always, always waiting, always patient, always present, as if, as if simply just, just holding the space for any human being to relax and settle into. And when we come together like this and we start feeling the joy and, and the camaraderie that happens with this beautiful song and with just the friendships that are here, we each start to sense and feel this vibration that means a little something more than it means when we start overthinking and over trying and overdoing. And it couldn't be at a better time of the year than for this to be happening right now. Because during this time from now until about the middle of January, literally our planet is in an alignment that allows for a higher frequency energy to be bombarding Earth in as direct manner as a pure, pristine energy than any other time of the year. Every indigenous culture celebrated light at this time, and there is a reason. It is because there is an opening available to us to tap this frequency that we're calling the miracle zone. And that opportunity is here now in this moment on this evening for you, simply by coming together and dropping in, just feeling the truth of you, recognizing that you actually are a miracle. You are from the miracle zone. You're just visiting this place. And so as we start to drop in to this earthly existence, if we can recall where we come from, if we can recall what is truly of significance and what matters most, we start to dial into the frequency of this miracle zone automatically. You cannot not. It is what you're made of. It is simply a matter of awakening your mind to the truth of who you are. I often say that when we land here, we sort of splat. And in that splat, our mind goes one way and our body goes another and our breath goes yet another way. And in that dispersed state, we start to try to conjure up a way of living that is survival based. And we try to make it work. And in the course of our lives, we end up pulling things back together again through trial and error, through circumstances or living long enough to say, hey, I've earned my right. Here I am. And I'm just going to do it my way. And in that moment, the universe and the miracle zone are both saying, hallelujah, this individual is yet another one who's going to surrender the idea that they are a singular, separate self and start to surrender and accept this truth of union, this truth of unity consciousness, this truth of who we actually are. And in that moment, a tremendous celebration takes place. 
And so what if in this moment together this evening through all of the speakers and all of the presentations that you'll be exposed to, what if along the way in the back of your mind, you were just allowing a little bit more and a little bit more of the joy and the presence and the love that you're experiencing to be reminding you that you are experiencing it because it is inside of you and it's tapping aspects of your wholeness and bringing them forth. And as they are tapped and brought forward, if you would just claim it and recognize, oh, there's a feeling that feels phenomenal. Oh, this feels beautiful. When we're hitting these notes of this song and you're gonna hear more music in the course of the evening. And as you're feeling the movements of that, if you could just grab a hold of it inside of your own system and start breathing with it up and down the center of your body and even beyond your body, up above your head and drawing that breath down inside of your body and then just giving it to the beautiful mother earth who is holding this space for us to land and splat and regather and discover, to awaken to the tremendous miracle that we are, to awaken to the fact that we are truly creator. You know, in the course of my life, I have been uh, raised in an environment that was in the forefront of energy medicine. And I went into the scientific study of energy medicine and quantum physics, et cetera, inside of natural health care and recognized that there's a tremendous amount of evidence that shows us that we are the miraculous and creating a miraculous life out in front of us is completely within our capacity. We know that we have the ability to change our own DNA function. We know that we can turn off and turn on telomeres based upon what we're willing to vibrate inside of our body. We also know based on science that our DNA has an effect on our environment. And so when we're changing our physiological frequency, that frequency has an effect on the environment around us and is literally capable of creating a miraculous life uh, on a path that we're walking down. As if we're creating a movie and walking into that movie and allowing that movie to represent to us the miracle that we are. You know, the trick is how do we do that? And that's what we love teaching inside of the miracle zone and inside of your year of miracles. And all of that is about us recognizing how to steer the energy, how to manage it and how to work with it in such a way that it becomes consistently flowing. There is truly a divine presence that is pouring down through your body and into the earth beneath where you sit right now. And mother earth translates it and steps it down for human consumption and it rises up through you and rolls around and around cycling through your body and it emits out in front of you and it literally determines what you perceive when you look into the world in front of you if you are perceiving if you are vibrating at a frequency where miracles are possible which happens to be a surrendered to the joy surrendered to the possibility state of mind, a surrendered to your authenticity. When we surrender in these ways, we allow this energy to roll through us and out into the world without interruption, without distortion. And what ends up happening is we find ourselves walking into the miraculous. The mind is sort of the last to know exactly how that happened because it is now in service to something greater than itself. So during these holy days, where every indigenous culture has celebrated the light at this time of year, you have an opportunity to surrender your mind to this beautiful, loving heart that you truly are, your authenticity, to trust and to evaluate what your truth is, how it feels, and how it feels when you speak it out into the world. It creates a vibrational reality that is second to none in honing you in to the miracle zone. The miracle zone is a vibrational reality that is waiting for you to surrender into it. And the more we think and the more we try, the more we squeeze ourselves away from that vibrational frequency. And so how do we do it? We love more, we think less, and we drop in and allow the divine to be the steward of our life experience. And our mind is simply here in service to the calls, the calls of inspiration, the ideas of innovation, the things that matter most to us. It's hard for the mind to believe that that could possibly be enough. 
and we are here to celebrate this evening that it is more than enough. It is actually a requirement for you to tap into the miracle zone, to find the miraculous truth of who you are and allow that to be your contribution to the planet. When we say yes to that greater power within ourselves, there is an unfoldment in life that is in service to the whole of humanity. So when one of those aspects of you gets tapped in this evening's program, maybe you could, in that same moment, just, just share it with the world. Just put it out there. Just allow it to roll off of you and into the surroundings, into the other side of the planet where you can't lay your eyes upon them, but you can certainly bring your heart to connect with theirs. So it is a great joy. I wish I had two hours to spend with you, but it's my joy to connect in this way, reminding you that you are the miracle. So the next time that you say, I need a miracle, just drop inside and find that space within you that is your most authentic place and recognize that you are finding the miracle zone. That's it. We simply need to tap the reality that is there waiting for us always, always. You know, Dr. Sue, we would like to have an extra two hours with you. <laughs> there are so many offerings. And if we could just for a couple of minutes, I do want to go over a couple of the wonderful offerings you're providing. Um, and I'd like to start by tell us about this solstice celebration that's coming up. Well, on the solstice, uh, the December 21st, we're doing two things. One thing that we're doing on the solstice, we're starting the morning with uh, 108 sun salutations together and in, in, on a yoga mat in, in, or in a chair if someone isn't really a yogi, but would like to learn how to open up areas of the brain and uh, allow this essential self to be, to be activating in such a manner that we are able to embody this miraculous version of who we are. And the sun salutation for thousands of years has been cultivating this presence inside the areas of the brain that connect our consciousness with our subconsciousness and our super consciousness. And so that is something that we'll be doing in the morning, uh, 11 o'clock Eastern time on December 21st in the solstice. That evening, we're also doing a celebration that is filled with music and filled with celebrations of light and a healing transmission, which we are amplifying with hundreds of our practitioners that we've been training for years to amplify a healing transmission for the planet, um, cultivating unity consciousness and, and a great remembrance of the truth of, of who we are. Beautiful. And so again, in the morning, it's from 11 a.m. to 1 o'clock. Um, and then in the evening, it's from 8.30 till 10. That's Eastern time, 8.30 to 10 Eastern, yeah. so 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. And so that's happening on the solstice, an amazing way to get the solstice started. Um, yeah. I also wanted to find out more about your energy codes. And so um, I'm going to go to um, that book. Tell us, because this is kind of like your master work, and I've Honestly, we've got some mutual friends that tell me how awesome you are. Um, so tell us about the energy codes. Certainly. The energy codes are a series of, of practices that we do. It's a technique, basically, that, that is based on the principles of cosmic law and natural law combined that allow us to recognize um, how to know that we are this miraculous energy, how to feel and work with, with life on the basic level of the raw energy that everything in the universe is made of. Everything is energy and the miracle zone is a vi vibrational frequency within which that energy is vibrating in its, in, its free, in its freedom. And the energy codes are really teaching us how to tap into this, this realm where we are um, by design and by our true nature destined to manifest here fully and abundantly. Now, people seek enlightenment. And what I want people to realize is that they are the enlightenment, they are the light, and embodiment is actually the goal, which is why so many people are seeking enlightenment and still seeking enlightenment and still seeking enlightenment is because it is difficult to discover uh, what you already are when you're looking outwardly for it. And so I'm teaching people that they actually are the light that is here to manifest itself completely into the physical realm fully. And when we do that in our fullness, 
we are capable of bringing the divine through without any sort of distortion or with any, without any hesitation. And so we heal on every level of our lives. I've healed a scoliosis in my, in my spine without even trying and migraine headaches without even trying. It's simply a byproduct of what we're doing with connecting neurocircuitry and electromagnetic energy circuitry and getting those two sets of circuits and systems to speak to each other in such a way that we are truly masterful at bringing this divine light here into this body and out into the world. Beautiful. You know, people in the chat box are saying, oh my God, the energy codes work is amazing. This has changed my life. Um, and for those of you watching on Facebook, uh, you can find out everything about her by going to drsuemorder.com. drsuemorder.com. Thank you, Deborah Juicy, for putting the link into our chat box. And thank you, Dr. Sue, for taking some time out on Saturday night to give us a homeopathic dose of your wonderful medicine um, and your wisdom. Thank you. And thank you for your service to the world. My great pleasure. Thank you so much, Scott, for what you guys are doing all the time. It is, it is a great joy to see what is happening and the difference that you're making on the planet by being regular and consistent with this messaging that just cannot be denied. And it's a joy to be a part of that. Thank you so well, thank much. Thank you, Dr. Sue. Hopefully we'll get a chance to have you on again soon. And God bless you. And I, I'm going to participate in your uh, solstice event. That looks like a wonderful event. Come and play. Come and play. It's complimentary for everyone. Great. I'll see you then. Blessings. Yeah, boy, I mean, how blessed we are to have all these amazing people providing us. And here we are, we're entering winter, and it might be a challenging winter in some ways, but we have these incredible opportunities to be with Dr. Sue, to be with Marcy, to be with Lisa, which we're learning about tonight, to be with the Brothers Corin, and to activate our voices. So it's pretty awesome. Well, as most of you know, those of you that are regulars, Every week now, we have wisdom jewels, and I want to thank Jay and Jan uh, for creating the wisdom jewels. Let's see, where's Jay? There's Jay, and there's Jan, um, and they create this every week for us. They take the topic, the theme of the night. Of course, tonight, it's all about miracles. They pull quotes, and they create these lovely little videos. So let's all relax, kick back, and enjoy this week's wisdom jewels. Thanks again, Jay and Chan. And yes, using light touch is a wonderful way to activate the miracle zone. And uh, so I want to encourage people to continue to learn and try light touch. It's very, very beautiful. 
Um, and next week, we're going to have an after show featuring Like Touch and sponsored by Chain Like Touch. So you can learn more about it then. And I love that quote from Marcy, um, because it really is true. It's like we want to drop in from our soul, let our soul attract and create the miracles. So thank you very much. So as you all know that are regulars, and for any of you that are new, this show started as a fundraising event uh, way back um, in March of 2020. Uh, Deborah Juicy, my partner, who I'm going to put the spotlight on, Deborah, so because uh, we're going to do this together. Um, Deborah was going to host a fundraising event for our good friend Pantuzzi. And um, this thing called a pandemic happened. And she knew that I was used to doing online events and fundraising. So she said, Scott, can we make it online? I said, sure. And what started as a one night Saturday night fundraiser, people said, oh my God, that was so great. Can you do it for the next few weeks while we're stuck in at home with this pandemic? Because we all thought it was going to take a few weeks, right? Maybe a month or two. Well, here we are, almost 90 shows later. We haven't <laughs> missed a week um, bringing you inspiration music. And we've raised over $150,000 for uh, friends of ours that are dealing with cancer, um, people who lost their homes in fires, uh, nonprofit organizations that we believe in. But this month, we are putting the attention on ourselves uh, because we it is a lot to put together these shows, the videos. Uh, we provide support to our musical artists. And so we're asking you to donate to us this month. That's who we're going to do. And it's hard for both Deborah and I to ask for money. It's harder for me, especially. Um, and so uh, I'm going to just go to the Q code and turn it over to my partner, Deborah, to share a little bit. And I want to say that definitely Saturday Night Alive is a miracle to do 87 shows and have Scott and I work together so dedicatedly every every single day and have all these amazing luminaries, musicians and spirit keepers come on to our shows and get this high vibe information out to the world and really keep the vibe high during these challenging times. That's what we're really about because we acknowledge that we're in the birth canal going to a new world and we're all in it together and we've come for these times so we're very committed to bring you this high vibe information and we are in deep gratitude for all your donations that have allowed us to do this show every single week and to continue in 2022 it really takes a village and your green love green love is your donations that you give to us and we have a tax deductible donation portal. So we'd love for you to ping your green love in there and really give us a big yes to go forward in 2022. And we've got lots of ideas. We've got new people we want to bring on and we want to bring on some of the very favorite collaborators on back again to bring some additional shows and keep up with the pulse of the times because that's what we're about. So thank you so much for your donations. You can ping us right now. Also, it's always in our email that you'll get with the replay and to tell with you to share with you next week's show. And so deep gratitude to give us your green love to allow us to go forward in 2022. Beautiful. And speaking of great collaborators, what a joy it is to be working with Marcy. Um, and Marcy... Thank you for helping to create the show. It's off to just a fantastic start. Well, I just, I want to say you guys might have a hard time asking for support for you guys, but I don't have a hard time asking for support for Saturday Night Alive because I know, uh, I, you know, I've, I've watched so often and I know how brilliant, how beautiful the shows are, how, how inspired I feel and how inspired everybody who comes, comes to Saturday Night Alive feels in the community that you've created. So I think it's a very, I really encourage people to uh, donate to Saturday Night Alive because it's, we want to keep this going and going and going. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Marcy. Hey, what's next? What is next is, oh, the fabulous Karen Drucker. There she is. Hi, Karen. Hey, Marcy. Well, let me introduce you, Karen, formally a little bit and then a little informally. Okay. Karen is a uh, mm -hmm. keynote speaker. She's a women's retreat facilitator. I've had the honor of getting to, getting to be in a number of her retreats. She is an entertainer who's recorded 20 CDs of her inspirational music. She wrote a best-selling book, 
Let Go of the Shore, Songs and Stories to Set the Spirit Free. And really, Karen is all about healing and love. Her intention is to, I know, to make a difference by using her music to help people open their hearts and feel love and hope and acceptance. And a little known fact about Karen, and Karen, I hope it's okay that I'm sharing this. I hope it's okay. <laughs> What? But it's, it was so cool when I heard this. Karen was the babysitter. Can I tell this? Oh, yeah. Oh, Karen was the babysitter to Carol King, who no, lived next King to her children. I'm not that old. Oh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> Carol King's children. She was the babysitter for <laughs> Carol King, meaning for her children. Yes. <laughs> she lived across the street or next door to you. Yeah. And, and, you know, what a musical inspiration. And how cool is that? Did you ever play your piano? I, I, that's how I got into music, Marcy, is she, she let me borrow her piano when she was remodeling her house. I came home, I was in high school, I was this drippy girl, like, you know, and all of a sudden, there's her piano in my bedroom, and I taught myself, because I was so inspired, because I had her piano, to play piano and to write teenage angst love songs, and that's how I got into well, all this. Well, that is a that miracle is zone miracle. story. That is the miracle <laughs> zone. Car learning on Carol King's piano, yeah. and I just also want to say I, you know, forever am in love with your song, "The Face of God," and I've oh. used it so often in in uh, my workshops. And and thank you for that exquisite song and all of your music. Oh, thank so, you, darling. Take it thanks. away. All right. Well, because she just said that, I'll play you just a little bit of this. Actually, well, okay, I'll just play a little bit. You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. I'll do it one more time. You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. I hold you in my heart. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. So when you're looking around in the Zoom gallery view, just look at all these wonderful faces of God, and that's what this is all about. So tonight I'm going to give you my miracle song. This is a song I wrote with um, a wonderful author by the name of Pam Grout. And Pam in her book said, you know, when you want to look for miracles, you have to say you have to say this affirmation, and this is what I'm all about, is, is putting affirmations to music. And her affirmation was, something amazingly awesome is going to happen to me today. So, you know, I'm saying this, I'm putting it on yellow stickies all around my house, and I went, no, this is a chant I have to write. So I wrote this little chant, but then all of a sudden I thought, no, this is a song. And I wrote to Pam, she didn't know who I was, and I, I sent her this letter saying, can we write this song together? And she writes me back and said, well, I'm a big fan of yours, and my dream is all, my miracle dream has always been to write a song. So here's our song. We wrote this song together. Something amazingly awesome is going to happen to me today, and this is my magic wand. I want you... Wait, oh, it died. I want you to sing with me. This says you can sing. Something amazingly awesome is going to happen to me today. Can I hear an amen? Something amazingly awesome is going to happen to me today and to you. Something amazingly awesome is going to happen to me today. Something miraculous and amazingly awesome is going to happen to me Day. So that's all I have. Thanks so much for listening. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> all right, here we go. Are you ready? You got to get up and dance on this one. Sing with me now. Something amazingly awesome is going to happen to me today. Something amazingly awesome is going to happen to me today. Something amazingly awesome gonna happen to me today something amazingly awesome is gonna happen to me today yeah. <laughs> i sing my little mantra i'm gonna get it in my head because today is a party i'm gonna leap on out of bed and i start my day in this way knowing everything is okay i look for the good in everything Makes me want to sing. Oh, 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 something amazingly awesome, awesome. gonna happen to me 
today Something amazingly awesome It's gonna happen to me today Something amazingly awesome It's gonna happen to me today Something amazingly awesome It's gonna happen to me today I love all the dancing I'm seeing, this is great Now it's not out in the future Well, it's right before my eyes The beauty, joy, and wonder it's time I realize that every moment is a gift. All it takes is the slightest shift to see the good in everything. Makes me want to sing. Oh, oh, here we go. Something amazingly awesome gonna happen to me today. Something amazingly awesome gonna happen to me today. Something amazing. Amazingly awesome, gonna happen to me today. Something amazingly awesome is gonna happen to me today. It's time to blow. You just have to imagine it's a saxophone. Thank you, it's a talent. But what if I'm not open to it? Gratitude, gratitude. But what if I'm not really feeling it? Gratitude, gratitude. I believe in the power of what I say will be. And I finally learned the lesson that gratitude is the key. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We want to get into that miracle zone, you gotta put your body into it. So get up and dance a little bit, and I want you to say this. Amazing, amazing, it's all amazing. 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 Amazingly awesome It's gonna happen to me today Something amazingly awesome It's gonna happen to me and you today Amazingly awesome It's gonna happen to me today Something amazingly awesome It's gonna happen to me today Something amazingly awesome It's gonna happen to me today Something amazingly awesome gonna happen to me today, yeah, amazing, a miracle, a little miracle, a big miracle, it's gonna happen to me, gonna happen to you, just take a deep breath and say, something amazing, something miraculous is gonna happen right here, right now, I'm claiming it, I'm knowing it, I'm having some of it, <laughs> thanks for dancing and listening with my, <laughs> I love this, everyone's just going like yeah. this. Ah, oh, what fun. It's a miracle. It's a miracle to be with all of you tonight. Thanks for listening. Ah, I was muted. Don't go away quite that quickly. I'm getting out my magic wand. And my first wish is that Karen Drucker is going to do another song for us later tonight. Yes. That's my first wish. Granted. Um, it's granted. All right. Fantastic. See, that this magic wand, you got me going on the magic wand idea. Um, and my second magic wand wish is for everybody to go to your website. And it's the easiest one to remember because it's her name, karendrucker.com. Go to karendrucker.com. And there's a lot going on there. Um, uh, we're going to take you to her store in a moment. But if you scroll down, you got some wonderful things you're providing. Tell us about your Sunday sacred singing. Well, thank you. So, yeah, so what I got is pretty much what you've been doing is just feeling like we need to connect, you know, through this pandemic and lockdown. And the way that I connect is through music. So I thought I was going to just offer these free times we just get together and sing. Everyone's muted, but we're just singing. I'm seeing people dancing like what you were just doing. But we go deep. We do these beautiful chants. And so the second Sunday Sacred Sing at 6 
Six Pacific. So uh, December, what is that? The next one is going to be December 12th at 6 o'clock. And then I decided let's, let's keep it going. Let's do it on New Year's. Bring in the New Year's in a sacred, deep, intimate way. And so that one, there's the information right there, but it's on December 31st. And we're calling it a New York New Year's. So any of you on the, on the West Coast, we celebrate New Year's at 9 o'clock. So the, the East Coast people will have it at 12, but we're done at 9. We're saying the New Year's is at 9 o'clock, and we bring it in in this beautiful, sacred way. So beautiful. that's what I'm doing. Um, well, when we, um, after your second song, we'll take a look at um, all the albums and music that you've done. Okay, sounds good. Um, thank you so much, Karen, for being with us. That was just fantastic, really fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you very much. She'll be back. All right, I am going to turn it back over to our fantastic co-host and collaborator, Marcy. Okay, so Scott, are, is this, am I doing, you help me out. What's yeah, next? This is it. This is where Marcy. I get to share a little bit about being in the miracle zone. Okay. Well, I'm, I, first of all, I'm so happy to be here with all of you. Um, I'm feeling the energy of the Miracle Zone just by being with all of you here today. And as Dr. Sue said, we are in the season of miracles. And in a minute, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take us through an activation to, um, to put us even more in the Miracle Zone. It'll be a different kind of an energy. Uh, but I want to just spend a minute talking about what is a miracle? What is the Miracle Zone and what is a miracle? So the dictionary definition of a miracle is a miracle is a surprise and welcome event that can't be explained by science that's often attributed to divine grace. So we actually can't create miracles. They are a gift of divine grace. But what we can do is we can create the conditions for miracles to show up in our life. And that's the miracle zone, the conditions that we are in that flow to receiving miracles. And, you know, um, Dr. Sue said it, they're all around us. Um, and it's really up to us to be in the flow of that. And what I've seen over the years of, of working with people in your year of miracles, I've seen miracles happen small, miracles happen large, you know, anything from the small ones, like the person you're thinking about just happens to contact you out of the blue or you uh, get a check in the mail for $945 and that's the exact amount that you needed to pay a bill that you didn't know where you were going to get the money for. Or there are bigger miracles like, you know, I haven't talked to my brother in 10 years and he called me out of the blue and apologized or having a miraculous healing or by the way, that was not a personal example of me. My, my brother and I have been talking, but that, that I, we've had people say this, you know, miraculous healings or dream jobs showing up or somebody having a baby after years and years of trying or meeting your soulmate, you know, these kinds of things. And we all want miracles. We all now is certainly a time when we need more of them. But what I've found is that there is there are a number of blocks that people have in, in blocking their miracles, but the number one block that people have is not feeling worthy of receiving, not feeling worthy of having the miracles show up. And of course it's subconscious, we all want them, but we are subconsciously pushing them away because we don't have enough self-love and worthiness. And I'll just share with you a very short little story that happened to me about 25 years ago. I went to a workshop with a brilliant teacher and um, Marianne Williamson, who's now a dear friend, and we're going to get to hear from Marianne a little later on tonight. And during this workshop, she said that if you make a lot of money or if you have a lot of money coming into you, but you don't raise your consciousness to be able to let that in, what you will do is you will lose it. You will push it away. And I thought to myself, that would never happen to me. If I made a lot of money, I would never lose it. Well, sure enough, a couple of years later, uh, my Chicken Soup for the Soul books came out and I made a lot more money than I had ever, ever made before. And I proceeded to start to lose it. And I made bad investments. And now, fortunately, I remembered what Marianne said and I caught myself before, before too long. And I started really working on the consciousness of feeling worthy of it. And so what I want to do right now is I'm going to walk you through a very short version of a longer process that we use in your year of miracles um, to help you activate the miracle zone, to help you connect 
your energetic vibration to the energy of miracles and to help you open to receiving more and more miracles. And we're going to do this meditation to the um, music of Jim Oliver, Radiant Heart. This is one of his beautiful songs that gets us also in the right energetic space. And so I'm going to ask you to close your eyes if you would. And Scott, if you could let me know if that volume is good, you could just... Maybe a little bit lower. A little bit lower. Okay, I will do that. So, and you can adjust it and you can adjust me anytime. So as you settle into this moment in your chair where you're sitting, we're going to start with the first step. There are three steps to this activation. And first, we're going to start by connecting in to our own energy, the energy of miracles, and the energy of each other. So I invite you to take some nice deep breaths through your entire body, filling up your whole body with your breath. And now imagine connecting in to the vast energy of the universe and the energetic field of miracles by bringing your awareness to your root chakra at the base of your spine and feel that root chakra grounding in as though there's a cord grounding into the center of beautiful Mother Earth and feel your connection to Mother Earth. And now if you would move your attention to your crown chakra, top of your head, and feel the energy from your crown chakra moving up through the sky and the stars and feel your connection to the light of the sun. And let that light shower down through you, through your crown chakra. And now move your attention to your heart, that midpoint inside where the earth and the sky meet. This is the seat of your soul. Feel your heart connected to the vast energy of life from the core of the earth all the way above you to the sun. All of life is contained within your heart and this is where miracles are born. And from this place, we invite you into partnership, all of us together, the whole community of Saturday Night Alive, with everyone in the world who's connected into the energy of the miraculous, and feel that heart connection, feeling the collective heart and the vaster energy field that we create together in our commitment to living a miraculous life. And now let every facet of yourself open to the energy of the miraculous, allowing yourself to become more and more receptive, more and more receptive to miracles in your life. And now we move on to the second step, which is activating miracles. I'm sorry, which is cleansing and clearing out all the old energies that no longer serve us. So notice any habit or old energy or mindset that might be blocking you from opening to miracles and allow divine grace to just empty out that old energy. Could be that you didn't feel good enough or worthy. Maybe you haven't let yourself believe in possibilities or miracles. Just notice and witness any blocks that you've had. And now we're going to allow divine grace to wash away all of that limitation. 
just for a minute, I'm going to become the voice of miracles to speak to whatever has been blocking you. And here's what the voice of miracles would say. You've now served your time in the best way that you thought you could, but now limiting thought or belief or ancestral pattern, whatever you are, you are invited to leave. So please just step into this hand of miracles and allow this hand of miracles to gently dissolve this pattern. And notice that dissipating and leaving, feeling you freed with more energy for the miraculous. And now finally in this cleansed state of possibilities, we move into the third step, which is to activate miracles. Your essence is worthy of this. Feel yourself opening more to the miracle zone. Feel the words, I am home, I am enough, I am loved, I am worthy of the miraculous. Take that into your body, breathe that in, and again, for just a moment, I'm going to be the voice of miracles and say to you, I, the energy of miracles, am here for you. We are together. We are one. I am here for you th for the rest of your life. I'm here to become an intimate, active, and alive energy in you. Allow yourself to sit in a place of activation where these miracles, this energy is flowing through your being. And as you do so, healing happens. Physical, mental, spiritual. Allow this energy to infuse into your relationships, into your thoughts, into your circumstances and into your actions in life. You are miraculous. And the miracle zone is your birthright and has been activated in you. And for this miracle's activation, we give great thanks. And so it is. And take a deep breath. And when you feel ready, you can stretch a little bit and you can slowly open your eyes. And as you do, and as you come back into the room, I would just love to have you write a word into the chat so that everybody can see how are you feeling right now, having, having had a little bit more of an activation um, as I said, that's shorter than what we normally do, but let's just see in the chat. Gratitude, loved, relaxed and grateful, miraculous, joy, expanded, miracleized, just love, hopeful, super rested, heart centered. So I just want to end this little piece of this conversation with one thought, and that is people are always saying to me, is it, is it, selfish to want to live in the miracle zone. And what I say is it's the least selfish thing we can possibly do because when we're in the miracle zone, we're affecting everybody around us. And the more people that live in the miracle zone, the more we will have the world that we're, looking, we're wanting. And I, I will leave you with this Chinese proverb that sums up why I'm so passionate about this. It goes like this, it says, when there is light in the soul, there will be beauty in the person. When there is beauty in the person, there will be harmony in the house. When there is harmony in the house, there will be order in the nation. And when there is order in the nation, there will be peace in this world. And my prayer and my wish for every single one of us is that we know that light in our own souls, that we are living in the miracle zone, and that the world can, can experience great peace and miracles through that. Mercy, you are just a genius at lifting energy. I mean. Mm. You know, it took a moment, but there are like at least a hundred comments that have now come in the chat box about it. And um, I want to really let everybody know about this incredible program you have. 
Tell us about how we can make 2022 the best year in your life. Well, uh, uh, what we've been doing for the last eight years is we do a year-long program. Dr. Sue Mortar and Lisa Gar, who you'll be meeting soon, and I do a year-long program about putting your life in the miracle zone. And what we're seeing is miracle upon miracle upon miracle happening in people's lives in just remarkable ways, things that they, they never could have imagined. And um, we start the year by having people come up with three miracle intentions, soul-based intentions for the year. And we proceed to walk you through how to put yourself in the miracle zone in your, in your relationship to yourself, self-love, in your um, health, in money, in career, at work, and just in every area of your life, in your relationships, um, and it's it's been such a joy. It's it's really being in the energetic vortex of miracles that we lift each other up, and we have phenomenal experiences. So we invite everybody to join us. So that's the website. Deborah's putting it in, but then you also are providing people with a free ebook. Tell us about that. Yes, this is called The Four Biggest Mistakes That Keep You From Living a Miraculous Life. And I spoke about one of them today, The Block of Self-Love. We have three others in there. And what you can do to move past these blocks to a miraculous life. And Dr. Sue Mortar and Lisa Gar and I wrote that. And that is our gift to you. Oh, and it's at your year of miracles. Actually, that's at miracle. Uh, that's at miraclesebook.com. 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 And Deborah's putting that into the chat box. Great. That's why all of you watching on Facebook, come on into our Zoom room. It's in the chat box. That's where you can see all the links and communicate and correspond with us. So go to GlobalPeaceTribe.com, register. We've still got a lot of show ahead of us. We've still got Marianne Williamson ahead of us. Um, so there's a lot of show left. Come on in and join us. And Marcy, thank you so much. This is just a wonderful, wonderful show. So far. Mm, thank you. I'm loving have, I'm loving getting to be here with you guys. So, and I know what we've got ahead. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, and shall, uh, shall we introduce this together, Scott, since yeah. you and I met them together? Yeah, so I'll start and then I'll turn it over to you. Okay. Um, Marcy and her beloved husband and my wife who passed away, Stephen and I were all in India together. Um, where we were the guests of uh, the Oneness University, we were involved in the Oneness Movement, the Big Movement. And David Pramal and Meetin were also guests. It was Christmas and New Year's of 2004 going into 2005. And we all spent three weeks together meditating and doing India together in a very beautiful way. And that's when uh, I met David Pramal and Meetin. My wife had known them back from the Osho day. Um, and of course, that's when I met Marcy, as you know, and um, we had a, just an amazing time. We had an amazing time, Scott. You and I got to sit with them on New Year's and chant the New Year in. It was so beautiful. And in um, room, the, the, in uh, huh? In their, in their room, their bedroom. In their bedroom, in their bedroom. And um, they are Grammy nominated. They have spent the last 30 years sharing their amazing meditative music and the healing power of Sanskrit mantras with people around the world. And they're playing all the time in our home. And I'm so happy that they did this, um, that they're with us for this. And I want to acknowledge that this is a special video they made just for tonight, for Saturday Night Live. Um, and thank you because they wanted to be with us. So, uh, you were well loved by them. And we all love the group from all. Let's do the creative course. Namaste. Namaste. This is some by Chow Utah. Radhe 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 Gopal Radhe 
of the heart. Let the way of the heart, let the way of the heart shine through. Let the way of the heart, let the way of the heart, let the way of the heart shine through. Love upon love upon love, all hearts beating as one. Light upon light upon light, all disappears into one. My beloved friend Maniko. <laughs> let the way of the heart, let the way of the heart, let the way of the heart shine through. Let the Let the way of the heart, let the way of the heart shine through. Love upon love upon love, all hearts beating as one. Light upon light upon light, all disappear. Miracle zone. <laughs> This is really for me how I tune into the miracle zone: is to lift my spirit up beyond the busyness of the mind and the traffic and the stuff that's going on, and lifting myself up. And the way I, I that comes easiest for me is to sing, and also to lift my gaze up to my third eye chakra. You know, just with an OM. And it just changes the energy inside of me, and it lifts me to on a to a higher plane, so I can see everything a little bit more from a distance, a bit more like the the witness, the watcher on the hill. Mm -hmm. So just uh, if we forget everything, if we just have that Om sound in our hearts and our minds to remember, it's so precious, so easy, just the Om. And uh, just the, 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 you know, the, the arm basically is uh, breath made audible. And, uh, and I wanted to uh, play this song for you because it's a song that I wrote for my grandchildren, grandchild, and uh, it's called uh, "Don't Despair, Prepare for a Miracle." I think it's a I wanted to give him as much good advice as I could in one song, you know. I wish you love. I wish 
wish you good health. I wish you the company of your own true self. I wish you peace when the day is done. When the shadows fall and the evening comes, this is my prayer. Don't despair now. Prepare for a miracle. This is my prayer. Don't despair. Prepare for a miracle. Just a breath away. I wish you the comfort of a mother's touch, reaching out your hand in love. It can mean so much, and I wish you a special friend, your secrets to hold. As you travel through life and your stories unfold, this is my prayer. Don't despair. Prepare for a miracle. This is my prayer. Don't despair. Prepare for a miracle. Just a breath away. Just a breath away. And I wish you the courage to really love, to keep your heart open. When life gets rough, and I pray this song will touch your heart someday, so we'll be together some way. But though we're far apart, this is my prayer. This is my prayer. Don't despair. Prepare for a miracle. This is my prayer now. Don't despair. Prepare for a miracle. Ooh. Oh, it's just a breath away. Just a breath away. So never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Prepare for a miracle. Never give up. Never give up. Prepare for a miracle. It's just a breath away. Just a breath. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, beloved Saturday Night Alive community. Mm -hmm. All love and all blessings from Costa Rica. Namaste. Love you. Namaste. <sighs> what a blessing. You're muted, by the way, Marcy. Someone just wrote in the chat, divine. Yeah. So divine. Actually, Sergio and I are going next week to Costa Rica to be with them. Oh, wow. So oh, we will send along everyone's gratitude for them. Uh, we'll bring that with us. Please do. And, you know, we always like to uh, support 
our musical artists and all of our friends. And David Pomal and Mitten have a beautiful online community. Uh, some of you may remember that the very first time they were on our show, they had just launched this. So if you go to the website, Deva Pramal Mitten, that's all kind of together, D-E-V-A-P-R-E-M-A-L-M-I-T-E-N, DevaPramalMitten.com, and then you can find this online community and join, and, and they provide um, the Gayatri Mantra and all sorts of really lovely, wonderful things. So um, again, we're living in an online world, but how blessed you are that you're going to get to be with them in Costa Rica. That's really beautiful. Yeah, so happy. Just such exquisite, exquisite music and energy and, and, you know, listening to them puts you in the miracle zone. Yeah. And they're the real deal. You know, um, they are very humble, very God loving, spirit loving, human loving, life loving beings. So, yeah. All right, well, to get us ready for the next step of the evening, here is a short video. We are one, we are one, we are one, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh, 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 we are one, one love, we are one, one love, we are one, one love, yeah, yeah, one love, 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 one love. I love that video. It's just beautiful. So again, I want to remind everybody that tonight's show is being sponsored by your year of miracles, and I encourage everyone to register for that. Um, it's going to be a beautiful way to bring in such an important year, 2022. It, it could be a really wonderful year. It could be a very difficult year. We all know that our world is going through big transformation, and it's by aligning ourselves with people like Marcy and Dr. Sue and Lisa uh, that we can stay in the miracle zone and have a beautiful year. So I really wanna encourage everyone to do that. I also wanna encourage people to use Qualia. You've heard me talking about it. And I, I feel kind of funny. I never thought I would be a pitch man, but I've been using Qualia for a couple of years now. And most of you have probably heard me talk about it. We've had scientists on the show and um, it's a great, great product. I'm 65 years old and I do three online shows every weekend. Haven't missed a weekend since the start of the pandemic and I have a coaching practice. And I do it because, and I don't drink coffee and I don't drink black tea, I take qualia. It's really, really good stuff. And so I wanted to show a short video <clears throat> that explains a little bit about how it works, why it works, and honestly, I know that a lot of our audience are my age or close to my age, baby boomers. And this product is great for all ages, but I got to tell you, it's especially great for us boomers. So let's take a look at this short video. Aging is something we all do, and it starts from the time we're born. So why not add something into the system that's going to really optimize that outcome in, in ways that we desire. There's a very dramatic difference between the functionality of young cells and older cells. The key difference between the cells that exist in young people and in older people is how much energy those cells are able to produce. The energy available to cells is critical for every single thing that they do. We've got tens of trillions of cells that are all doing something like a trillion metabolic functions a second. We're a company that specializes in performance optimization and, you know, at the crux of health is how our cells function. How can we do something that would make you a better version of you every day? These are the resources that we can supply to help that system function better. Having healthy and energetic cells is going to play a huge difference in how you feel as a whole, what your total energy levels are, your 
athletic performance. Your ability to have the energy you need to do all the different tasks your cells need to do. If they can do those things, your tissues work better. If your tissues start to work better, your whole body functions better. Expect people to have more energy, maybe faster recovery times. They might see improvements in how they exercise. They could possibly even see improvements in sleep. Our aim here is to be able to extend the number of years that people are not only on the planet, but how you feel as a whole, what your total energy levels are, your athletic performance. Your ability to have the energy you need to do all the different tasks your cells need to do. If they can do those things, your tissues work better. If your tissues start to work better, your whole body functions better. Expect people to have more energy, maybe faster recovery times. They might see improvements in how they exercise. They could possibly even see improvements in sleep. Our aim here is to be able to extend the number of years that people are not only on the planet, but the number of years in which they're thriving. Our science team was really able to select the ingredients that we think will make a meaningful difference on the pathways involved in aging. Rather than just focus on ATP, or just NAD, or just insulin sensitivity, or just mitochondrial quality control, how can we support all of those and all the steps in those processes to be able to do it better? We have a dozen or so ingredients that are actually contributing to the body's ability to maintain the level of NAD plus that's healthy. And then you really want to ask, well, what's the relationship between those? Without ATP, we can't make NAD plus. Clearly, the amount of ATP is critical for the amount of energy in the cell. Why there's not more focus on both together as opposed to NAD plus in isolation has been a complete mystery to me. We also looked for ingredients that have shown evidence for mimicking some of the effects of exercise. I found about 25 systems that are being addressed. Extracts from strawberry seed, we find gynostemma, which is an ancient Chinese herb known for its longevity. There's products in there that will upregulate PPARGC1A, there's products in there that will upregulate AMPK. It's making sure we, we're getting the kind of variety in polyphenols that our ancestors would have got. We then do extensive testing on every single batch of every single ingredient that comes in. Quality and safety are of critical importance to us. It works for anybody that's looking to optimize their aging process. So it doesn't matter if you're a 20-year-old or a 73-year-old. We went about being able to create a product that didn't address just one or two key factors, but actually took the entire system into account to produce what we believe will be the single most effective product on the market for being able to start to have aging cells operate much more similar to what you would see in young people. I recommend it to anybody who is alive, basically. James and Daniel, who you both saw in that video, uh, are longtime friends of mine, and I knew them before they even started the Neurohacker Co Collective. They're brilliant and beautiful men, and they've created something really wonderful. And they um, have given us, Saturday Night Live, an ongoing discount. So here's the deal. You go to neurohacker.com, and uh, right off the bat, you're going to get 50% off your first order. But then on all orders that you place, you'll get another 15% off by using the coupon code SNA for Saturday Night Alive. And I'd really encourage you to start with the bundle, um, get the mind, the mind, the night, and the vision. That's a really good combination. Um, I use all three. And so I really wanna encourage you to do that. And it helps support us, but most of all, it's gonna help support you and your health. This stuff is great and it's real. That is the cutting edge of nootropics. So thank you. And thank you everybody for your donations and for supporting us in all the different ways that you do. And to share a little bit more about all of that, here's my partner, Deborah. Thank you, Scott. And yes, thank you so much for your donations. They really do make a big difference in us planning for all that we can do in 2022. So thank you for your year-end tax deductible donations so much. And there's other ways that you can help. It really takes a village to do this. We have amazing people that help us that give the, to produce these quality shows for you. And one way is to promote, tell your friends. And this is how we get people with word of mouth all over the world tuning in. One way is you can share our promotional videos. Every week we have an incredible promotional video created for the next show. And I'm gonna put that link in the chat room and we're gonna show it to you for a little bit. That's a great way to turn people on to Saturday Night Alive and what they can experience on the shows. 
And if you'd like to be a sponsor for 2022, that really helps us produce the shows. So connect with me personally about sponsorships for 2022, and we can do an incredible show that gets your message out to many, many thousands all over the world. Or if you feel feel called to be on our team, if you have a superpower in marketing or business development, or if you'd like to volunteer, please connect with us. Um, because it really does take a village. So it's all of you contributing, whether it's your money, your skills, your ideas. This is how we do this. It's called mega manifesting, everyone coming together and working together. And we all get to share in the abundance of that. So thank you so much. And we're going to show you our promotional video right now for our show next week, which is preparing for the holy days and the new year. Hello, everybody. This is Love Coach Scott Katamas, inviting you to a very special Saturday Night Alive for the Global Peace Tribe on December 11th as we prepare for the Holy Days. Whether you're Christian, Jewish, agnostic, or just spiritual, it's a powerful time. And we want to honor all people, all creeds, and the fact that this can bring up a lot this time of year. For some of us, we're really excited to see our family. For some of us, we're dreading seeing our family. For some of us, we feel sad because we don't have family. But whatever your circumstances, whatever your situation is, we're going to provide you with tips, tools, and practices from some of our favorite presenters, including Reverend Michael Bernard Beckwith, the founder of the Agape International Spiritual Center absolutely one of the most important spiritual teachers in my life and he always has a lot to share we're going to have chief phil lane with us and phil is brilliant and so passionate and i look forward to seeing what he has to say we have matthew fox who created the incredible multi-denominational ceremonies that thousands of us went to for many many years in the bay area and he is eclectic and brilliant my good buddy T.J. Woodward is going to be talking about how to have a sober Holy Day season and thoroughly enjoy it. And one of my very best friends, Jonathan Robinson, is also going to be with us. And Jonathan has great tips and tools for managing family during the holiday season. As always, we've got great music. And uh, we're welcoming somebody new. Louisa Gosla will be with us. And then we're bringing back Ananda Yogaji. So they're both going to provide music for us. And Heather Rogers, that brilliant, magical comedian, is going to be with us. I'm going to wrap up this show with a special after show created and hosted by Jay Mayer and Light Touch. So join us. You can get all the details and register at GlobalPeaceTribe.com. And we look forward to seeing you on December 11th as we prepare for the holiday season and the new year. I want to thank Alan and Son and Virtual World Studios. They do such a great job creating videos. Like there was, it takes uh, it takes a village to create these things, and they do a great job for us. So, as part of our Global Peace Tribe announcements, just a couple more announcements I want to share with you. Um, you know, I do three shows every weekend, and tomorrow on my Sacred Sunday show, I've got Lord Barde with us, and. Lloyd is a wonderful music producer. He was with us earlier tonight. I'm looking to see if he's still with us. He and his wife were watching. Um, and Lloyd is all about keeping the music alive. He is a wonderful producer. And he's been providing us with a lot of the musical guests that you've been seeing on Saturday Night Live, including he introduced us to the Brothers Corin as an example. And so he's gonna be my guest tomorrow morning. And uh, we're going to talk all about live music and play some of our favorite musical numbers from people that both Lloyd and I love, like Christian Hoffman. So it's going to be a really special tomorrow morning. That's at 10 o'clock. Do join us. Also, Deborah and I are both participating in the Beyond Christmas uh, show. It's going to be coming up on December 16th. Uh, it's a free 
show. And a lot of our favorite people are going to be there. Jerry Anderson, the wild monk that you've seen dancing around, he's going to be there. Um, and we've got Whitley Strieber, Celestine Starr, Adam Apollo, uh, Kimberly Meredith, and many, many others. Um, it's all free. It's from two o'clock till 10 o'clock. Um, and then the kind of the peak hours are from six till 10. And that's going to be on um, December 16th. So please do join us for that. Uh, it's going to be a, a really fun event. Uh, and let's just keep on staying connected uh, because that's what it's all about. And again, thank you everybody for your donations. Thank you for participating in our show. And um, I'm really grateful for it. And to introduce a very special speaker um, here, I'm turning back over to Marcy. Mm, thank you, Scott. Well, I this speaker, of course, needs no introduction, but I will for I will give her an introduction. Marianne Williamson. She's a best-selling author. She's a political activist, and certainly she's a spiritual thought leader. And for more than thirty years, Marianne's been a leader in spiritual and religiously progressive circles. She's written, I think, it's fourteen books. Four of them have been number one New York Times bestsellers, and we all are familiar with the quote. Uh, from a return to love, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. And I will just say one other thing about Marianne. I, um, I first heard Marianne when I, in 1982, I was living in Los Angeles and somebody gave me a cassette tape, in the days of cassette tapes, and I put it in and I listened to her and I thought, oh my God, this woman has got it. And I would listen to her every day. I was in graduate school and I would on my way driving to graduate school. And I felt so deeply that she was a soul sister. I felt like I've got to know this woman. And um, and as, as the miracle zone would happen, um, Marianne has become a very, very dear friend. And she really is such an exquisite soul who is here on the planet doing amazing work to open it, all of us up to uh, living more in the miracle zone. So here's Mary Ann. Great. Um, and this is a recording that we did just a couple days ago. So it's fresh. Mary Ann, tell us, you have been such a, a force for us in Course in Miracles. Probably the majority of our viewers have studied Course in Miracles with you or at least read your books. So here we are talking about living in the miracle zone we're really grateful to have you with us. What do you have to say about miracles, especially at this time in our human history? Well, in The Course in Miracles, it defines a miracle as a shift in perception from fear to love. The world that we live in is dominated by a thought system based on fear. We are taught to fear one another because we're taught that we are separate from one another. We're taught that we're separate from our source, if we're even taught that there is a source. We're taught that we're separate from the rest of the universe. And this produces within us on an unconscious level, a low level to even high level hysteria. We don't know where we fit into anything. And in a very real sense, we don't know who we are because that thought system tells us that we are our bodies. Well, our bodies are only here for a short period of time. Our soul is here for all eternity. The Course in Miracles says that the body, the physical birth of the body is not the beginning, but a continuation. The physical death of the body is not an end, but a continuation. So everything that we are taught about who we are, who other people are, our place in the universe is counter to our inner knowing. And we live with that split, with that separation from deep knowledge from the time that we're born because we are trained into the thinking of the world. The miracle zone is the dismantling of the thought system that dominates the world and the acceptance instead of a thought system that is based on love, a thought system that is based on the knowledge that we are ideas in the mind of God, therefore we are love, we are eternal beings, the truth of who we are cannot be changed. The physical body is just a suit of clothes we wear, that there's really no place where I stop and you start. The Course in Miracles likens the human experience as we now understand it to a wave thinking it's separate from the other waves in the ocean. 
if I think that I'm one separate wave in the ocean, how could I not live in constant terror that I'm going to be annihilated by a bigger wave? How could I not feel powerless as just one wave within this big ocean? If, however, I realize that as with any wave, there's really no place where one wave stops and another starts. If I realize that, in fact, anytime any wave moves, the whole ocean is affected, then instead of feeling powerless, I feel the power of the ocean because I realize I am one with the ocean. The miracle zone is what we come to know uh, through the vision of spirit. Uh, rather than what we perceive through the vision of the physical eyes. And that's what the spiritual journey is. The journey of enlightenment, the Course in Miracles tells us, is a shift in self-perception from body identification to spirit identification. And also one of my favorite lines on the Course is where he says, my way is not difficult but it is very different. Nothing that I just said was difficult. It's almost like common sense. None of that's hard. What's hard is getting over the resistance to practicing it. Now, you and I are talking, everybody is watching right now. We're all somewhat like-minded people. None of this is hard. What's hard is going out into the world, which is so dominated by thoughts that run counter to this and actually applying these principles. But that's all that life is. All that life is, is in the Course in Miracles, it says each of us has a highly individualized curriculum, our circumstances, our relationships, all of which in every moment give us the opportunity to practice a different way of being, a different way of thinking, a different way of behaving, and ultimately the creation of a very different life for ourselves and for others. Marianne, I found a wonderful quote from you that says, in asking for miracles, we're seeking a practical goal, a return to inner peace. We're not asking for something outside of us to change, but something inside of us to change. And I, I love that quote. I'm just wondering if you could riff on it a little bit. Well, The Course in Miracles does say that the, that the goal of The Course in Miracles is the attainment of inner peace. You know, when I was talking before about the idea that the thinking of the world is so counter to what we know. It has placed within us a profound hysteria, a sense of reality that is counter to our own inner knowing. And we can't be at peace in a random universe. We can't be at peace in a universe in which we have no sense of higher identity or higher purpose. We can't be at peace in a universe where constantly we're afraid of terrible things happening because everything outside of us seems dangerous. We can't be at peace there. We're only at peace when we know this is who I am. This is why I'm here. This is my purpose. This is how I fit in. And I am accompanied by whatever name we use for the angels that surround us, the Holy Spirit that surrounds us, the arms of God that surround us, that is guiding me and protecting me and blessing me. You can't be at peace without a sense of your spiritual reality. Now, the fact that we, this is a particularly interesting thing today, these days, because an overly materialistic perspective on the world has produced within us this deep spiritual discomfort. Now, the world calls it a mental health issue. No, 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 no. The world is insane. The fact that we can't even bear this does not mean that we have a mental health problem. In a very real way, the fact that people are so anxious living in this insane world is a sign of mental health. If I have a broken bone, my brain produces pain because it's a signal to me, I have to reset that bone. The psychic pain that we're feeling on the planet today is a signal you must reset your thinking. You must reset your behavior. So in a very real way, a lot of the depression even that people feel. Anybody who looks at the state of the world today, all of the unnecessary pain, the unnecessary suffering, the unnecessary um, uh, degradation of the planet, anybody who doesn't feel depression, who are you? Only a sociopath could look at the state of the world today and go, it's cool. It's not cool. And the fact that we're registering, no, this is not okay, doesn't mean that we have a mental health problem. 
you know, Krishnamurti's favorite famous line about how it's no sign of mental health to be well adjusted to an insane world. So inner peace can only come about through remembering who we are, why we're here, and uh, the, all the power that comes along with knowing those things. Marianne, it's always so good to get these bursts of your wisdom. And um, I want to really direct everybody to Mornings with Marianne. Um, so people can go to Marianne.com. That's your primary website. And right there is where you're teaching daily lessons of A Course in Miracles. Tell us a little bit about this. And is this a program that people can come <coughs> in at any time? Well, yes, it's a it's a year program, and many people like to begin, you know, on January 1st, but you don't have to begin on January 1st. Any day you begin is the perfect day to begin. Um, and there are 365 days of lessons okay. uh, in the workbook of the Course in Miracles. If you sign up for Mornings for Marianne, um, you are delivered uh, every day, your inbox early in the morning. My reading that day's lesson from the Course in Miracles, and then my giving a, a lesson, you know, a minute, two minutes, three minutes, uh, maybe five minutes, I don't know, on what that uh, lesson means, uh, my own personal reflections on that lesson that day. And the 365 days, the first half of the year is the dismantling of the thought system of fear that dominates the world of which we spoke. The second half of the year is the rebuilding, the substitution of a thought system based on love. And um, that's the workbook of the course, which is the crux of the course, because it is that which trains us to think along the lines that the text sets forth. The Course in Miracles says that enlightenment begins as abstract intellectual concept, but then it takes a journey without distance from the head to the heart. And, um, you know, most of us now, we've all been at this long enough, um, most of the people who are with us tonight um, get the concepts. But if it was as simple as that, I would have been an enlightened master a long time ago, and I'm not. That's because the, the principles are simple, but applying them is sometimes hard because we it runs so counter to the mental training. But we're getting there. Most people I know, Scott, uh, myself included, um, I think where so many of us are is we've worked so hard. We're, we're basically in alignment. Uh, we just need to step it up now. Yeah. Uh, we just need to step it up. We're doing the right thing, a lot of us, but we need to step it up. Yeah, absolutely. And is it the meaning of life, learning to love? And so we each have our own unique challenges to learning to love, including learning to love ourselves. And, and it's sometimes a lot easier said than done. <laughs> absolutely is easier said than done. And that's why we need people like yourself and your program, and even just that five minutes a day to get the day started. Um, so I think Mornings with Marianne is a brilliant opportunity. Thank you. For the, audience. Yeah. the Course in Miracles does say that five minutes spent with the Spirit, Holy Spirit in the morning, the Holy Spirit being the internal teacher, the internal radar system. The Course in Miracles says that five minutes spent with the Holy Spirit in the morning is enough to guarantee he will be in charge of your thought forms throughout the day. Wow. So, I mean, it doesn't mean that if I meditate in the morning, I will make no mistakes throughout the day, but it means a greatly reduced chance that I will make the kind of mistakes for which I will suffer for the next few months or years of my life. And most of us have made those mistakes. I interpret that to mean it's setting our compass every day, setting our compass. With Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Marianne, thank you so much for giving us some of your time. And God bless you. Thank you. you do. Thank you. It's a great tribe to be in. <laughs> uh, you and all of your friends, and of course, Marcy, who I love so much. So have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And thank you for having me. Absolutely. Oh, that was fun. That was definitely fun. Um, I want to uh, bring Marcy on again, too, for a moment. There you are. Hi, Marcy. Hi. Oh, I could listen to Marianne, and I do <laughs> any chance I get. She is, she's, she's just got the gift and the juice and the, and the, the, the you know, she's just a real channel for for great wisdom. 
Yeah, well, thank you for bringing your friends, bringing Dr. Sue and Lisa and Marianne and David Pramol and Mitten. What a beautiful, fun tribe you are bringing to our tribe, our Global Peace Tribe. So thank you so much. And we've still got more, everybody. So stick around. Um, and another new weekly feature is the Zen Corner. More Zen wisdom brought to you by Jay and Light Touch. Let's take a look. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Light Touch. We have a wonderful presenter left. Tell us all about it. We do. Oh, I'm so excited to get to be here with the phenomenal Lisa Gar. Can we bring Lisa on and then I'll tell you a little bit about Lisa. There Hi, she Mars. is. Hi, Lisa, again. We were together in the pre-show and here we are together, together again. So Lisa, for those of you who don't know, she's the host and the creator of The Aware Show which is a transformational radio show. It's about natural health and about cutting edge science and about personal growth and spirituality. She's been doing that since 1999. Lisa is on a mission and it truly a heartfelt mission to bring the practical awareness of, of all that we're talking about here today to everyday life. Her, her Actually, she has a show on free speech TV that reaches over 40 million US TV households and um, Oprah, uh, Lisa is known uh, as the Oprah of our transformational world. I first met her a, a number of years ago when my book, uh, Happy for No Reason, was coming out. My publishers called me and said that they booked me on Lisa Gar's show. And they said, <laughs> don't blow it. This is big. Don't blow it. And um, so that's how I met you, Lisa. You are uh, you are a, a, another sister. You co-host your Year of Miracles with me. Um, actually, Sergio has now dubbed you the fairy godmother of miracles. And you <laughs> I love are it. <laughs> a, you really are. You're a fairy godmother of miracles. You're a bright light here on the planet. So welcome and thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Marcy. And this has just been wonderful and fun. And Yes, I do tend to bring in the practical. That is my nature is bringing in something that has ties all of this that we're doing together. And so I want to kind of talk about a practice, I'm talking about being practical, a practice tonight around the idea of miracles. You've all had this wonderful experience tonight of experiencing the song around miracles and Dr. Sue's amazing uh, words around the fact that miracles are all around us. It's not something that we go out and get. And Marcy's experience of, of letting go of the things that no longer serve us so the miracles can bubble up with, uh, in us. And so we have these great experiences. And all night, we've had a wonderful experience. And Marianne, of course, always, I get her her messages, her daily meditations, and they're so right on. I've always listened to her. And so when we have these great experiences, and tonight we feel a sense of love and unity and joy with this wonderful community, and then maybe when we leave the show or the next day or something upsets you or something goes wrong and you forget this wonderful, joyous experience, and then it just kind of goes away and you settle back into old patterns and habits. Well, one of the greatest ways that I've learned to end suffering is to be in action. 
And the way that I love being in action is a daily practice, a daily practice. And this one is around miracles. You know, when I had that brain injury, one of the reasons that I created the Aware Show after that brain injury, because it is a daily practice for me to be able to listen to incredibly transformational authors and and coaches and and practitioners and and humanity and it uplifts me every single time that i host a show so this daily practice around miracles is something that helps you not only attract the conditions for miracles to show up in your life as marcy says but it helps you really honor miracles in your life this daily practice is something that helps you remember the miracles in your life. Sometimes they happen so fast or we call them luck or weird or something that was um, a coincidence. But let's really look at some of the miracles that have happened in our lives and let's remember them. And let's do this as a practice so that we are constantly looking for these, seeking for these miracles to kind of pop up. They could be big, they could be small, uh, when I, I love the phrase by my dear mentor and um, Wayne Dyer, who was such a great friend of mine and, and wrote the forward of my book and such a, a dear part of my life still, um, he said, when you, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change, right? So there might have been events that have happened in your life, and they might have been difficult events. They might have been uh, an accident or an injury in my case, it might have been a breakup, it might have been something in your, you know, your history that happened. But when you look at them in hindsight, do you always pull the learnings and the teachings and the messages that you learned, the miracles that you extracted from those events that have happened in your life? So I'm going to invite you into the practice, the daily practice of recognizing miracles in your life. And we're going to go through a little bit of an exercise here. And we're going to look kind of back in our lives. And we're going to look at some of the twists and turns that have happened in our lives. And I want you to kind of recall the miracle stories that have happened in your life. And I invite you to drop them in the chat or just by honoring them and remembering them and putting them into the chat it's also social proof that miracles exist in our lives this isn't some way out there woo woo concept every single person in some way in their life has had a miracle occur and it could be big it could be small but it is so worth the practice of honoring it and recognizing it and looking at it and maybe looking at it from a different perspective because when you change the way that you look at that miracle, that, that event that happened, then somehow the event that you look at changes from a different perspective. So take a look here. We're going to break our lives into these 20-year quadrants, the first 20 years, the 20 to 40, and the 40 to now. And if you're not over 40, then just go into the now. So I invite you to take a look back into when you splatted onto this earth, as Dr. Seuss says, when you came into this planet. And that itself is a miracle. The miracle of birth is quite miraculous. The ability that women have to create bodies with our bodies and, and that men contribute and, and that we all together create new humanity together. That just the miracle of life is such an incredible experience. And then you come into life and you go through these bumps and grinds of what life gives you as you're discovering who you are. And this kind of mimics Joseph Campbell's hero's journey. When you go into this call of, well, I have this ordinary life, but what's my real calling? What is my call that is a kind of outside that ordinary life, something into something miraculous, something interesting. And you find mentors along the way and you find people along the way and maybe finding that mentor was a miracle. Maybe you made some decisions that weren't the greatest decisions, but they took you down a certain path, a certain trajectory. And along the way, you met friends, you met challenges, you met allies, you met enemies, you met all of these teachers in your life that showed you a certain way of your life. And that was 
maybe a miracle that happened. Maybe it was something that changed your life. Maybe it was a teacher that made such a difference in your life that you decided to go out and become a teacher. Maybe it was an experience. You're a high school drama teacher. Yes, was a great mentor and a support of your life, Scott. We have these people in our lives or these events in our lives that sometimes we can look back on and we can recognize, had that not happened, then my life wouldn't be the way it is today. Had I not met that person in the parking lot that Marcy met, she wouldn't have this miraculous experience of relationship. Had I not hit my head on that rock and tumbled down that hill, I would never have married my husband. You know, there's these incredible things happen in our lives, but we look back and really find that they are miraculous. Now I invite you to go into that 20 to 40 year section of your life where you really are answering that call and you're saying, okay, well, this is me. This is where I end and the world begins. This is how I individuate. This is how I learn. I, this is who I am. Maybe I want to go out in the world and make a difference or put my stake in the ground or find out what I'm really made of or push myself to certain limits so I could really test who I am. And so you go on this adventure, this call, and sometime along the way you hit this, this dark night of the soul, this, this discovery of, oh, that was so difficult, but I learned something so great. Maybe I can climb my way out of this because it's either this is the end and I have such a new source of knowledge and beginning that I can go through. Let me see if I can stake that I can put my stake back in the in the ground again and say, you know what, this is who I am now. I've got all this experience. Things didn't go so great. This was really challenging. All I can do is go up from here. How many of you have been through those experiences? How many of you are going through those experiences now or maybe in the last two years when something from COVID went through a full destruction period and it is coming out of the ashes or you found something entirely new that you're doing as a result of that destruction that happened. Well, out of everything, every destruction comes a new creation. When we go through winter, things get destroyed for spring, things to be created again. That itself is a miracle, the miracle of spring in life. Really looking throughout life, your life and nature and everywhere, you can see and honor and appreciate those things and those events that have happened in your life as miraculous. And now you're looking to now, now going forward. Now is full of possibilities. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So if you look forward, what is possible? Maybe those learnings and those teachings of those miracle stories that you learned along the way can actually be shared with others to inspire others. And I'll tell you a secret. When you change just one person's life, with the miracle story of your life, and you see the trajectory of that person's life change, I'll tell you that is priceless. And when you change another person's life with that miracle story of yours, and it keeps going, maybe that person changes another person's life and that person changes another person's life and so on and so on and so on and you don't even know how many lives that you've changed as a result of sharing your miracle story it is endlessly gratifying. It is something that you can wake up every day and say, this is my legacy. This is my purpose here. This is, wow, look at these stories. Healing from breast cancer, car accidents. Absolutely. Thank you. You're looking in your life and you're showing and you're seeing, oh, wolf dog saved your life. I mean, I'm telling you, the miracles out there, when you really start to look at them, just reading the chat, it is, it is so, these experiences are real and they are something, that, yep, someone has started growing a garden. They can just keep going on and on and on. And I want you to go through and read these miracle stories that people are sharing with us, 11-11, and oh, love that, in New York, because this is the miracle zone. This is the way that you create the conditions in your life for miracles to occur. So look at your miracle stories, share your miracle stories. 
inspire and impact generations to come with your miracle stories and recognize and honor those miracle stories because they show up in our lives every single day day. And the more you recognize them, the more that you're going to experience them. And mm. another little tip and trick, if you are going through something really difficult in your life, and I saw somebody earlier get some rocky news about their mortgage. I see you. I hear you. I know it can be very, very difficult. But my friend, look at, just go into nature and look at the, the new branches that appear from a burned tree look at a butterfly that comes out of a chrysalis. Miracles are evident everywhere in our lives. And the more that you tune into that energy, my friend, the more that it will start to change the way that you look at things. And I leave you with that practice. And I absolutely love that you are sharing these miracle stories with us in the chat. And remember where your attention goes, your energy flows. So this is a very simple, practical practice of noticing the miracles that occur every single day in your lives, in our lives. Just the miracle of knowing my friend Marcy, I'll tell you, is a miracle in my life and such a gift. So thank you for letting me share with you tonight, Marcy and oh, Scott Lisa, and Deborah. That was beautiful. That I'm was so beautiful, you know, just what a great way for us to bring this whole, make this really grounded. And um, you're, you are the fairy godmother of miracles. <laughs> well, Lisa, I'll just, take it. So beautiful. And you're right. The, the stories that are coming into the chat box and that the, you have such a gentle and wonderful way of just guiding people into sharing and opening their hearts. It's just beautiful. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, you for know, that. So you provide coaching. Um, tell us about this amazing practice of yours. I mean, I would, I can imagine that you've just changed people's lives. I, you know, this is what I have as a broadcaster for 20 years done is I listen to stories thousands and thousands of interviews of people's stories. And I, I, I'm so inspired by people's stories. And yes, I do coaching for people that maybe don't know their story or when they do wake up to their stories, which is such a, a beautiful experience to watch someone really wake up to their life's journey and how it's really served them and how they can serve others. And it just deepens them into their purpose. And it's so beautiful to watch. I, yes, I do story coaching and guide people through the journeys of their life going forward and how that can deepen their purpose in their life. And it, it's a, it's a miracle. Oh, the stories. I love humanity. I have to tell you, I love humanity. I, <laughs> I, so resilient. <laughs> I have seen um, the examples of Lisa's coaching. I've seen people t sharing their stories that Lisa's coached. And it's dramatic, it's night and day. They come in not knowing how to share their story. They go out not only knowing how to share their story, but having been transformed in the process that they've been through with Lisa. So she's she's got it. Uh, I love it. It makes a much greater impact on whatever it is that you do. Business, coaching, writing, whatever you do. Yeah, it it definitely deepens that that whole entire process. So thank you. Absolutely. And, and the way you go there is simple. Just go to the awareshow.com forward slash coaching. Yes. Coaching with the cigar. I want to get coached by Lisa. Cigar. <laughs> I would love it. I would love it. Oh. I want to hear about your teacher, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to tell you about Dr. James Raleigh. Thank you. My drama teacher is up in heaven now. Oh. Um, so thank you, Lisa. That was just, I agree with Marcy. It was a really wonderful kind of uh, way to come in. And uh, we always like to close our show. We are going to stick around briefly and I'm going to share some of your stories. So if anybody wants some of their miracle stories to be shared, let me know and I will share a few of them. But Thank we you. always like to close with music. And now I'm going to bring on, I'm going to keep Lisa on since she's with us. Here's, here's Deborah. Wow, what a beautiful show. So much heart, so much wisdom. Thank you so much. And yes, we love to close with music because that really gels the heart and the vibration and continues to live it up. And we've got Karen Drucker with us again. She is all about healing and music. 
and inspiration and miracles and rock in it. So thank you, Karen, for being with us to complete the show and end up in the beautiful vibration of music. Thank you, Deborah. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end with this tonight. I was going to do another song, but you know, after hearing what Lisa was talking about and with Marianne and Marcy, we need to talk about love in this moment, in this place. I remember who I am, letting fear and worry just fall away from me. I open my heart and I see there is only love. That's it. There is only love, sweet love. It's a love that heals, love that sets us free. There is only love. And when I lose myself in those times when it feels like I have lost my way, I go inside and quiet this chattering mind. And that's when I can hear spirit say, sing with me now. There is only love again. There is only love. It's a love that heals, love that sets us free. There is only For a moment, though, for a moment, I thought we were going to get another one. <laughs> <laughs> you were, if I didn't stop. <laughs> Thanks for uh, having me. This was so sweet tonight. Oh, Karen, you just brought so much to the show tonight. Oh, thank you. I can't believe this is the first time you've been on our show, but boy, we got to bring you back right away. I'd be happy. Absolutely. And I want to remind everybody that you can get music from Karen Drucker. All you got to do is go to her website, karendrucker.com. Right now, let's take a look at the store. Look at all that she's got. She's got chanting CDs, awesome. song CDs, compilation CDs. You've been, I've been busy. You've been busy. I got a lot to say. <laughs> so 
I know this is like asking a mother who your favorite child is, but I'll, I'll put it this way. Is there a particular child, a particular CD that stands out for you for this time of year or for the miracle message, the miracle theme of tonight? Songs of the Spirit 2. I'm clicking. That one, I think that one. Oh. All my, all my, oh, you know, I'm that has what? All of a sudden, whoops, there oh, we go. Start playing it. We'll yeah. Start. But that has like what Marcy was talking about. You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. I mean, some of my main songs that a lot of churches play and a lot of gatherings play, my chance is, is on that one. So, right. Yeah. I'm there's so the face of God, which Marcy, in fact, I'm going to bring yeah, she, she talked about that one. Um, cause Marcy right away said, oh my God, Scott, have you heard her face of God song? That's like my favorite song. That's what Marcy said. Oh, Marcy, you're so good to me. Hey, Karen. Well, man, you are, it's all, it's all love. And that was what tonight was. And it's all love. This whole night has been about that. Yeah. So what a, what a beautiful contribution. And I just I love, love your spirit and love your music. Oh, thank you, Marcy. Thanks yeah. for having me. It was beautiful. Thank you, Karen. And hopefully you'll come back again soon. Love to. Well, I'm going to bring Deborah on and we're going to just one more time. Thank you, Marcy, for putting together this great show and really encourage everyone. Let's all make 2022 the best year of our life by joining your year of miracles. Now that you've seen Lisa and Marcy and Dr. Sue, I can only imagine what you all put together over the course of a year. <laughs> it's pretty rocking, really. I mean, what what happens is it's this multiplied over a year, um, this this feeling of it's actually about being in the energetic vortex of miracles and and getting that to be your 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 natural state where you live from this energetic state of, of miracles. And it's that consistency. You know, it's like we're all high right now. You know, we've all gotten high from tonight. But what I love is that it's a year long course so we can maintain that energy and not just kind of get high and then come down from it. Yeah, it's absolutely. The whole idea is to get high and keep getting higher and higher and higher in the miracle zone. The consistency throughout the year is really the key, is that you stay with this miracles family throughout the year. And it is, it's, it creates such a bond with the miracles sisters and brothers in the program because yeah. you support each other. And when you've got 5,000 people together with the same intent, it's huge. The power is. is huge. And I know in 2022, we'll have probably six to 7,000 people from 87 countries global. So it's really amazing. Oops, Deborah, we can't hear you. This is such an important time. This is the time to come together and create miracles together because that's what this time is doing is bringing us together and we are creating the miracles for this time. So what an important program to be on for these times. So thank you, Marcy. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. For the thank you. And I, I want to really, again, thank you, Deborah and you, Scott, for what you are doing with Saturday Night Alive because it is making a difference in so many people's lives and it's really amping up the juice here, the love. Um, so thank you. And I really appreciate all that you put into this program. I know how much it takes to produce a weekly show and you are, your everything is just seamless and flawless and beautiful. So thank you. You put a lot of love into this, I can tell. <laughs> thank you you know, I think uh, this is just a wonderful way to close. Um, so I do want to thank everybody for putting their miracles into the chat box. Um, I encourage people to save the chat. If anybody wants the chat, you can private message me and I'll send it to you. Private message me on Facebook. Because um, I just want to close. This is perfect like this is. Thank you so much, Marcy, Lisa, of course, my partner, Deborah, um, and everybody. I'm going to go to gallery view for a moment so we can see all of our wonderful contributors, all the people with us. Dr. Future and Jay and Jan, Sean Luther, uh, Robin Delaney, our wonderful mystic Abbot Jerry. Thank you everybody for, and all of you watching. Um, and hopefully I'll see some of you tomorrow morning for the Sacred